Hello, hello, hello. It is our Wednesday night live sisterhood paint group. And I'm just so jazzed to be here tonight having a good time with these ladies. We have got uh, myself and three other ladies in the house. And we're going to be doing some a fun little chicken. We did a chicken a while back, the funky chicken. Now I'm calling this one the free range chicken. Because we're all going to be doing something really cool and different with our chickens. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this intro going. And we'll bring everybody on and get started. Hey, girlies in the house. Again, we already got the comment. See who's up here now. Yvonne saying hi. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, Yvonne. Hey. Why aren't you here with us? Are you painting again tonight and being elusive and not being on live yet? You need to show your face, girl. I hate it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is some of us. Uh, this is the live sister painting group. For those of you who have not joined, it might be your first time. What this is, is obviously we've got a group on Facebook called the Live Sister Painting, or Live Painting Sister, excuse me. And we try to do every Wednesday nights. We do have other nights available or other times available if anybody wants to do another time slot. But we encourage you to come on and just have some fun. We paint, we create, doesn't have to be painting, whatever you want to do, crafty. Um, but we pick a subject and we just go for it. So um, I am crafting with Kim and I'm going to go ahead and let the other girls just briefly say who they are. And we'll get in. We'll go ahead and start our, uh, our little fun project tonight. Terry. All right. Hi, I'm Terry Woodhams with Let's Be Artful Paint Parties. I've been doing paint parties for a couple of years and I uh, started a, uh, a membership group for doing um, tracers for those of you who have um, art businesses and if you need some um, tracers for commercial use already sized for whatever you need um, I have a, a, a group that I started and I also do uh, PNGs for uh, reusable stencils in there as well and I'm just I'm having fun creating designs that's like the, my most favorite thing to do um, above actually doing a paint party is coming up with a design so um, I yeah. also, I'll post a LINK in there on where to go if you're um, interested in that it's at $16 a month uh, this time around and your price would will won't go up. So um right. as long as you're on that so. cool, cool. She really does have some cool designs and you guys will love working with her. She's very good at teaching and she works uh, she works with really good by the way the one we're doing tonight is hers as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah original. Well, yeah. Nice. So my my <laughs> members do have this um, this outline, it doesn't have a watermark on it, so you can mm -hmm. use it for, you know, your, your, you know, your stuff. And then I also uh, will be uploading a rooster, a cow, uh, uh, um, I'm going to work on a goat. Somebody requested a goat and some other ones, too, to do the cool. similar kind of a thing. Yeah, do the goat one so that we can do the goat because the goat looks yeah. cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do some funky thing like getting with a funky chicken with the big glasses and all that. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Lana. Close enough. It's Lena. Lena. <laughs> Whenever I say Lana, I always say Lena. Okay, it's Lena. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. I'm Lena Norris with the time to paint. Uh, just come on here and have fun with these gals. Uh, doing some painting and hanging out and chatting. and That's what we're here. Have some fun. You, what you doing on your own thing and for your art business besides being an art teacher? Oh, I completely forgot. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm putting together. I know, right? Gosh, this, this is nice. I'm putting together a course to help people who want to learn how to paint so um as soon as i get that together which i haven't had a time to do that yet i will let y'all know and if you'd like to join me that'll be great cool 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 in here all right and miss creatively stacy what you got to hi i'm stacy from creatively stacy <laughs> uh, blessed to be able to paint with these wonderful talented ladies tonight so thank you guys for letting me join you um I have a Facebook page, Creatively Stacy. If you're not uh, following me there, please do. I'd love to have you join me. I paint online all the time. I do local paint parties. So um, cool. if you're local to Evoke in New York <laughs> or the general area, get a hold of me. We'll see what we can get set up. And actually this weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm doing a pumpkin, pumpkin palooza, which oh, is cool. an online. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're raising money for suicide awareness, which is amazing. Oh, cool. So, and it's only $15. You get all three paintings, um, the tracers, step-by-step -step instructions, supply list, the whole deal. This is the one that we're doing tomorrow night, and this can be changed okay. up. The no. can be changed up for anything. This is the colors for suicide awareness. 
Oh, but I know these are used that's awesome. for a lot of awareness. So um, yeah. join us. Uh, go to my website, creativelystacy.com to get in. And then come back and get in the private Facebook group, the Pumpkin Palooza group, to paint with us. And like I said, it's on replay. So if you can't make it live, join us. But nonetheless, regardless of what you're doing, come over and follow me on my Facebook page and hang out there too. Okay, great. You know, um, I know when we initially started this group, uh, we had a couple of the gals, especially Tracy. Uh, Abby was part of that, and she's from South Africa. And we were seriously talking about doing our live group and building it up so that we can make it so that we could use it for fundraising purposes. Um, so, you know, I don't see why we couldn't do that here if you wanted to throw something together, because I'm all about any kind of causes. Uh, I'm really big into the sex trafficking thing, but it could be just pretty much anything. There's lots of great causes out there. And if any of us girls wanted to try to like, you know, get together on that and do our like group paintings and it makes, you know, put something together, Stacy, then I'm all about that. You know, that would be you great. We, we should talk. My sister yeah. is very involved mm -hmm. with the sex trafficking cool. um, information as well. So that might be something also, if it's near and dear to your heart, yeah. then we, we, we definitely need to get together and talk. Okay, sounds good. We'll do a sidebar on that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk. All right. All right. So, um, I know girls, you can go ahead and get started if you want. Um, I'm going to yeah. just you know, tell about me because I didn't really say that many, but I'm crafting with Kim. And um, of course, I have my crafting with Kim page on Facebook. I do, um, uh, I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, YouTube. I'm actually live streaming from YouTube and my Facebook pages tonight. Also, I am starting a brand new, which I will probably be launching here. Well, it actually did kind of like a soft launch, but I'll be hard launching it here within a week or so, where I am going to be opening up a membership for working with clay, polymer clays, plasters, concrete, various things like that, and just show people, beginners, and maybe even I mean, it's how they can use clay to integrate into their already creative work or just if you're the beginning you just want to do something really fun and different so being that way i'm going to start posting a lot of stuff out here about clay and even tonight i am not painting an actual flat chicken version i created my own little chicken my own little thing <laughs> <hen> in <laughs> i would expect that yeah it's just a very simple little guy you know um, but and it's going to be honestly a challenge for me with this one because it's small. I don't normally paint this small, so and I'm doing it kind of funky, like a real funky, abstract looking chicken. So we shall see how this turns out. But yeah, I starting off with my little clay chicken, and I used polymer clay with this. I actually made it a, like just a, I just balled up some aluminum foil in a ball and made an armature, and then I just added the clay and, and kind of built it up from there. Okay. And that end up adding two or three different types of clay together and baking it because I ran out of the original clay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Whoever's watching, let us know where you're watching from. It's always so fun. Yeah, comments, comments, guys. Let's sprinkle, yeah. let's share, let's, you know, let's help each other out here. That's what it's all about. I'm all yeah. about sharing. And anybody and else who wants to ever join us, you know, actually painting with us, join yeah. us. Live painting sisterhood group and get on here with us. We need some more people, more than mirror. And, and the <laughs> thing about it is, is even if you don't want to uh, paint, you know, like you can. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to fix my. Day. You know, you can just get on and hang. Like if you feel intimidated by painting or you don't feel like painting that night, literally you can just get on and just kind of hang out with us, you know, and just share some comments and all that kind of stuff. That'll be fun too. And I'm Why trying to fix up. make my thing work. Here we go. I got it. I'm using a reference on my screen, so I'm trying to get it up so I can use it now. I meant to start. I my have no reference. Here. I made it up in my head tonight. Good for you. Well, these Good. are actually sitting on my above my sofa, so that's, that's it's a painting that I so love. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right, here we go. All right, guys. I didn't so, read my own notes, and I'm already doing it wrong. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> There's no wrong way. It's a it's a happy little mistake, right? I mean, it looks flexible. I just I meant to finish my background, not get started on the chicken already. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. I'm actually kind of studying this a little bit, see, because this is the first time for me with this little guy. And you guys know how it is. I'm always the last one. I never get finished because I'm too busy blabbing my mouth and not concentrating. <laughs> That's okay. And you know, it's all good. Eventually, I'll get it done. Exactly. I think I'm going to paint this again on Friday night, too, on my page. 
Yeah, he's a. Yeah, I love the. I love that version of yours. I do too. I decided to start yeah. with three colors: a teal, a blue, and a white. I'm just dragging them on with a chip brush. No. Okay. Yeah, like I said, ladies, you know, just explain a little bit what you're doing in your process and let everybody know, you know, what, how you're doing and what you're doing and, and all that good stuff. Yeah. So I'm actually doing a new process that I just saw this evening, so I hope it works. Uh, okay. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I've loaded up, so I already painted my bank, my background this blue color, and then I loaded up a bunch of Elmer's glue. Oh, oh. Um, and, glue, what? and then what you do is, and I mean, you just kind of really load it. And then you load up at the another color of paint. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. And I'm going to mute myself here in a minute. I'm going to blow dry. It's supposed to crackle your paint. That's yeah, crackle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it will do that effect. Plain old Elmer's glue right here. Load that's, it on there. Okay. Oh, All right. Right. Over a blue background. Yes, and then it'll like crack when you'll see some blue in the background. Oh. Yeah. So I'm hoping it works. If not, whatever. Well, it's cheaper. It's a cheaper version than buying the crackle medium. You yes, know. exactly. Exactly. So I accidentally discovered that with the crackling when I was first working with uh, doing my lighted bottles. And I mm -hmm. wanted to tint. I wanted to put some lights in there, but I wanted it the um, I wanted to make it like a frosted glass look, and I try mixed some acrylic paint in the glue, I think, and it and it crackled it, and I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna do that. Yeah, those are like really cool things. I've been playing around with the clay. Uh, I didn't. Oh, it's in the house. Um, I saw these, and I I made one a long, long time ago, but I remade it because I've been working with the polymers more, but uh, it's a cell phone holder and it actually works pretty darn good. I started using it in the house on my cell phone and um, I'll post a picture of it soon, but um, you know that you can actually paint on the clay before you bake it. Oh. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. You can actually do a stencil and then just paint, you know, on there. And then when you bake it, it bakes into the clay. So it actually makes it like a little bit more durable. Is that a special kind of paint? Uh, just your acrylic paints, like what oh, you're using so right now. When you did your uh, flower the other day, mm -hmm. were you painting on, uh, uh, was it already dry, or was that the one that you actually <laughs> that, that particular one, I baked it, that's the color of the okay. clay. That particular okay. clay was just in beige, I explained, because that's like a flesh tone for doing doll faces and stuff. Uh -huh. They all paint the same. I just happened to get that particular color because it was a good price mm -hmm. and it was like one of the best. I bought a three pack of that at better than I can get a single pack on Amazon. So I thought, you know what, it doesn't matter with the color because I'm usually going to paint it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, I, and I, and I like that firm Sculpey anyway, that, um, cause it's, it's so much, when you get to working with it, you'll understand. I mean, it's a little harder to work with in the beginning, but it's definitely cool. But yeah, you can paint right over it. Um, the only thing that you, you know, that you got to be a little bit careful about, like say that, well, like with the cell phone holder, this was one of my tests. I painted on it like a, it's just a flat slab kind of thing, a little slab, but then I had to roll it up and shape it into the shape to hold the cell phone. And I wanted to see how it would react when you actually rolled it. Well, of course, as you know, you would think because it's on the surface, the paint is on the surface, it kind of, you know, it showed through a little bit, like it looked kind of like a crack. You know, because it's it's stretched, and therefore you can see the the clay color underneath the painted version. But it's still like it's a cool idea as long as you lay keep your thing flat and you don't like you know um, manipulate it anyway. Then you can actually paint on it, and it won't it'll look really really cool. And I tried another version with like a um, a soap dish kind of thing because I wanted to see how durable it was. And man, it works great. I mean, you can soak that thing in water and everything, and it works really cool. Nice. Yeah. I'm cutting out your tracer to give me a size. Mm -hmm. I printed out a little small. I didn't get, I was in a hurry and didn't do it right. But I want to <laughs> make it work. But I'm not, make I'm it not work. on the freehand love. I'm going to take your guide. <laughs> Can't post comments to some destinations. All right. So I'm just, you know, you guys, some of you ladies might be able to see the comments. 
Yvonne, she says she's working on getting her lighting worked out. So you said you are actually painting tonight with us, Yvonne. That's great. Um, looks like for now, that's who we've got is Yvonne. And we got thumbs up. Oh, Charlotte. Hey, Char. She gave us a thumbs up. Cool. We got four thumbs up. Da, da, da. Okay. All righty then. Yeah, let me get back what I'm doing here. My free range chicken. <laughs> that was a pretty appropriate name, I thought, right? <laughs> yeah. Free range. Free range. All right. So you guys go ahead and shoot with your chicken uh, artifacts or whatever you got there whenever you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, does everybody, everybody say they got their chicken stories? I don't really have any chicken stories per se. I just I don't know. Never, I mean, I eat chicken. <laughs> I have, um, she is a frizzled silky, which means she is a little fluff ball <laughs> with crazy feathers. And she decides that she's going to go broody all the time, which means she sits on all my eggs. Okay. <laughs> come out of the nesting box. Oh, my God. And is generally just a pain in the patoot. We don't have a rooster. They're never going to hatch. And she used to, when she was younger... I would go to the store and I would buy her baby chicks. Oh, and she would be so happy and she would raise them. Oh, the last two times I have bought her baby chicks, she has nothing to do with them, and I oh, end up having to raise them myself. Oh, so that's she weird. is no longer allowed to have baby chicks. <laughs> <laughs> and we spend <laughs> six to eight months out of the year blocking her out of the nesting box. <laughs> I wonder what lady, though, triggered a woman to do it and then not know. do it. Like, what what triggered that and then not? It's she a just... natural instinct for chickens. Some get uh -huh. it and some don't. She oh, okay. gets to bed. And she will not <laughs> give up. And it, it, it is bad for their health. You try to, you have to try to get them to stop because they don't eat well. They don't use oh. the bathroom well, all the things. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a thing. But, yeah. But I love her. She's she's an old lady, and she maybe lays five eggs a year. Aww. But uh, but she's my girl. So mm -hmm. she's just That's got really a lot of maternal instincts. She has. Unfortunately, when it comes time to take care of the babies, she is over. She <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want to pretend <laughs> to be a a good she parent. Likes the idea of the parent. She has to be a surrogate. That's all it is, you know. <laughs> She's like, I can't handle them. Oh my God, they're too much damn work for me. Well, exactly. I can sit on that. That's exactly it. She's like, oh no, I didn't really want this. <laughs> Thank you, but no. Funny. <laughs> Our buff Orphingtons go broody a lot and then they'll yeah. sit on eggs, but then they, they crack all. <laughs> they start uh -huh. It's like <laughs> they go broody, but then they're horrible at like taking care of them when <laughs> they're still in the eggs. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, too. Yeah. Yep. We're, we're well, the other chickens try to get in there and lay on them, and then she yeah. tries to steal the eggs. It's a whole production. Mm, they're funny. Oh, my Lord. Oh, speaking of something I can't contribute about the egg thing is, um, okay, you know, reason through Netflix the other night, Robert and I came across, you guys know Morgan Spurgeon? He did the Super Size Me. Did you guys ever see the Super Size Me video a long time ago when he went to ate at McDonald's for 30 days? Oh, yes. Oh, God, no. I can't oh, remember that. Okay, well, he's got, he's got a, it's a couple years old, but he's got this new documentary, well, newer, about he decides to, he wants to open up a chicken restaurant. And um, because he starts seeing how bad the chicken, how much they lie, basically, how much the industry lies about. And I learned a lot because it talked yes. about, like, you know, the advertising, the hey, love. Now, some of you, if you're, if you're into like foodies and that, you know that they put a lot of false things on their labels and they call oh, yeah. it a natural this and that, and it really isn't nothing. So, mm -hmm. it's anyway, he exposed all that, but he decided he wanted to do his own chicken restaurant. So, he went through and did all of this work and this research and found he actually had a guy in Alabama that would, because uh, he was getting blacklisted because, you know, who he is by all the chicken people because of his first video. So he went and got his own chickens and had them hatched and raised and everything else. And then found out, you know, like what's really considered free range is just like this one little outdoor space. It's not really free range. Yeah. Right. So, and then anyway, he opened up the restaurant. He called it, um, what the heck was it called? He opened it up in Ohio, which I guess is some sort of test marketplace. And people were clamoring down the doors. And it was really cool because 
in the uh, in the in the shop in the thing it was old um, I don't know some old fast food restaurant a pizza joint or something and he uh, he made like on the walls and all the advertising everything was like okay this is really not good for you and he talked about all the things that all the other industries wouldn't talk about he was bashing them but he had it like, right out in the public he, you know on the wall so people could see so was, okay this chicken even though it says it's this but it really isn't you know he goes the other industries and he had this like plastered all over the place and everybody's like well but and he went through like food testing places to get this this and he had like a grilled chicken but it really wasn't grilled they just put these char marks on it and it said it's, <laughs> it's a fried it's actually a fried chicken patty that may look like it was grilled. I said it was a grilled fried chicken, but it really wasn't. And he actually said, no, we just paint these little grill marks on it, you know, but people are still eating it because it tasted good. So long story short is he went through all this and did all this work. And then um, I did some research. I'm like, oh my God, you know, actually I would like to eat at that simply because of the fact that he's just so cool and honest about everything. Well, it turns out that uh, the place, I guess he was going to launch one. He said he had all these people that called him up and wanted to do franchises. Well, it turns out, I guess, that he had some issues with some old um, stuff from his past, a personal, oh, like, no. um, yeah, like some sexual stuff from, from his past. And, uh, of course, you know, that's going to get exposed because they're going to do everything in their power to, to knock him out of the ballpark because, you know, people don't, the industries don't like him. So, anyway, he admitted to it. One thing I like about him is that he kind of beats him to the punch. He, I guess he had a, um, some sort of charge against him in college. And he came up to that, and then he's had some infidelity and things like that. So that came up. And so because of that, he closed the restaurants. I'm like, man, why didn't somebody just buy the damn things out from underneath them and keep it going, you know, if he didn't want to be associated with it? Yeah. So so it only opened for four days. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. all that work. Four oh, days. Okay. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, what? And it was cool, man. I mean, you guys are, it's called Super Size Me Too. So if you want to take, and I learned, like I said, I learned a lot about how the advertising goes and, you know, and, and I mean, I knew some of it already, but just the, the food industry and, and um, I've watched a lot of those documentaries. I used to try to get, you know, put those down people's throat all the time with those stuff when I was into the health, health thing. But anyway, that's my chicken story. I thought it was really cool. Um, so we're lucky here. We can, we can buy local um, chicken, local eggs, local pork, local beef. Yeah. We don't to deal with the grocery stores i love it yeah if i um i mean i still can around here too i just haven't made the effort but when i lived in north carolina it was very you know easier to do too because i live kind of out in the boonies too um and i'm more like you know in the beachy kind of environment but i'm sure you know i'm not that far off there's there's <laughs> pasture land out here i could find something if i wanted to so, yeah. Well, once yeah. you start getting local fresh, you, grocery store is never the same. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Not I used good. to get fresh goat's milk and all that kind of stuff up in North Carolina. Yeah. You know, that, that's that's great. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's see. Where am I actually can stop laying eggs very much. I think because we've been getting a lot of smoke from the California fires. Oh, so, yeah. And I know I'm not the only, we're not the only one. And so I yep. guess maybe they're stressed out from it. And they're like, uh, we're not laying eggs for a while. <laughs> yeah. They get stressed. That's what they do. Yeah. Like six, eight weeks sometimes. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah. I actually wanted to make crepes this morning. And I had, I had two eggs <laughs> in the, you oh, know, no. that I could use. And I told asked my husband, can I go out to the chicken coop and go get some eggs? He's like, there isn't any. <laughs> Oh, no. Except for the ones that the broody mamas have been sitting on, and you don't know which ones are, you yeah, know. You don't want those. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a no go. Yeah. I don't want to have to sit there and do the float test. And <laughs> So if the broody sit on them, then you're saying they're not um, fertilized? No, you, you don't know how old they are unless you go and mark oh, I them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. You have to collect really. them every day. If they yeah. have them more than a day, toss them. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, nobody wants. There's a reason. Well, if you have a rooster, there's a reason why grandma used to crack her eggs in a bowl and it wasn't because of the shells. Oh, yeah. Because too much information for you, ladies. Oh, I know. No, I, and I know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> that happened to me before. Yeah, it's kind of icky. Have a partially fertilized egg. Yeah, a little embryo in the bottom. Yeah. yeah. We're all adults here. I think we can use the e, e word. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't have a rooster, so none of mine are fertilized. But still, I if if she's been on them for a day, that's that's it. We're not we're not gonna be playing with the eggs, you know. <laughs> so if I get them early in the morning, I don't worry about it. But otherwise, how no. long does it usually have to sit on them before they hatch? I mean, not hatch, but twenty one or twenty eight days. I can't remember now. It's been so long nope. since we hatched. Yeah. Any. <laughs> Hatching what? like. Anyway. If they if they lay them like you know like to eat them you got to get them like within a certain amount of time or something. Take well, them twenty one days for them to um, incubate. Twenty one. Yeah. Right. Okay. I couldn't remember. You're close. You're close. <laughs> so I mean, you can just get them at any point, or is it like good to get them when they're like just laid that same day, or like how long? Every day. Every day. Okay. Yeah. If you don't, like, what's the, you don't want to wait like past how many days to get them because they'll be nasty. I mean, like. Oh. Well, you're leaving them out. I mean, they're in a bloom, so uh, technically, I mean, if you don't have huge weather fluctuations, they're probably fine. Because um, you can leave them on the refrigerator for weeks. Yeah. I mean, on the counter yeah. for weeks, unrefrigerated. Correct. So, yeah. Correct. If you have weather fluctuations, you've got chickens with dirty feet climbing over them, all that stuff. You don't want to, you know. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Way too, Yeah. I keep saying I, I need to go out and get a picture of my chickens. They're molting right now. What that means is they oh, lose all their feathers. And right. Really funny. And they are a hot mess. They look so bad. <laughs> my poor chickens look abused. And it's because they're just losing all their feathers. Yeah. Right. It's normal. They do it every year. Some of them do it nicely and they don't look too bad. And other ones are a complete hot mess disaster. They, yeah. They, 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 you know, they wake up in the morning and they're just like, this is where I look. You know, it's that's yeah. Oh, get. yeah. Too funny. Like I said, this is definitely a challenge for me. Okay, so I'm 60 years old. I really haven't had to wear glasses for close up, but this is kind of playing tricks on my eyes. This little bit of thing. I'm trying to paint this little small chicken. I think mm. I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to mute so I can blow dry you guys. You know what? It really doesn't make that much noise. You don't have to worry about it. It's very mild. It's not going to bother us. cause a complete disaster trying to figure out how to mute this. <laughs> so if, you, if you look at your little thumbnail under the under there, there's three little dots. And you click that, I think. Yeah, like on the bottom, we you see your little video. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. it's got the microphone. You hit the dots and you can see. see. Yeah, that's where it is. But it really doesn't make that much noise, honestly. Okay. It's not like you think it is. It's not like flashing your face. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, that's not where it's it is. Cool. That's that was on the bottom. It's like oh, it's on the very bottom. Yeah. Mute. <laughs> oh, the bar on the bottom. Instruction, sorry. Yeah, the toolbar on the bottom. It says mute. It says stop mic cam. I will I did you say that? Go mute. Well, on the very first one there you see the little microphone says mute. On the very on the far left. On the very, very bottom. On the very, very bottom of your of the screen, there's like a little white gray bar. It says mute, stop cam, cam mic, share, invite, leave studio. It should say that. Well, she you figured know, it I, out, I guess. Oh, she figured did. something out. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't hear a darn thing. Nope. All right, let's see where I'm at now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to transfer my chicken to my canvas. What were you doing it on in the beginning? Paper? No, it's canvas. Oh, it's on canvas. But I did that technique with the glue. Oh, how did that work? The crackle. It worked out great. Let me see. Do a close up. Hang on one second. I'm trying to get my, my okay. Pictures. I think he's on there. All right. Okay. Right. There you go. Oh, cool! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I love that. Cool. Cool. Oh, crackle is cool. It took a long time <laughs> to dry, but. So it's two coats of Elmer's glue? Is that what you did? No, nope, just one thick coat of Elmer's glue and one thick coat of paint. Elmer's first and then the paint. Yep. Gotcha. I might give that a try. I used to do a lot of, you know, I would always use the medium. Because I used to have a long time ago, I had a faux business where I do stuff in people's homes or furniture. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I just used the medium. I didn't. But I did learn that you can do that. I've just never tried it um, using the Elmer's glue. But now we know. That's all it takes. That's all, it got. That's all you got. Right. That's cheaper. 
Where's my little oh, reference? Yeah, it takes, um, where's it? Oh, 26 hours for a hen to produce an egg. Hey, so Danita. Danita. Danita's on. Danita's in the house. Hey, hey Danita. Danita. Why aren't you painting with us, girlfriend? <laughs> Good to hear from you. Good to see you here. Good to see you here. You should be. You want to come on and chat with us, Danita? Just hang out. You don't have to paint, but you can come on and just be part of our group and Give us some comments and put oh. your little hen scents in there if you want. <laughs> Ooh, trying to paint a straight line on a small I just chicken. the paint all over me. Oh no. Yeah. I like your flowers, Lena. That's pretty. She's adorning. Let me see the flowers. What flowers? Flowers. On the, nope, on those the are, those are spaces. Whoop. Those are Stacy's flowers. Oh, I'm looking at Stacy. Oh, I am. Like, for some reason, I kept thinking that was yours. <laughs> ah. Stacy, that is going to be so pretty. Oh, they Thank are cool. You. Yeah, yeah, they are cool. I like that. I can already tell it's going to be a good one. I'm curious to see what Yvonne does because she does amazing stuff. Yes. She does. I'll yes. take my tracers and then just. Do her own, you know. She right. she does. She comes up some stuff. really fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. The record for most egg yolks in one egg is nine yolks. Oh my god! Really that that that's crazy. What? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Nine yolks. Uh, <laughs> I got your facts pulled up. I just haven't got there yet. I'm too busy concentrating on this little critter here. And chickens were domesticated in southern China for around 8,000 years. In southern China, around 8,000 years ago. In 6,000 BC. I didn't know they were around that long. Well, yeah, that's right. Because they are related to the Tyrannos no, Tyrannosaurus T-Rex. Yeah. So Chickens are related to T-Rex? Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. In, in 2004, the chicken was the first bird to have its genome sequenced, which is finding out the order of their DNA. Ah. Doing this helped determine that the chicken is the closest living relative to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <gasps> wow. That's crazy. They are little dinosaurs. Yep. <laughs> I used to watch the Rhodes family. Justin Rhodes, he does, um, because when we were first getting chickens, he was, you know, did a vlogging on his chickens, and he would call them, what did he call them? His little T-Rexes, I think. What did he call them? He called them something that had to do with T-Rexes. Mm-hmm. Do you call follow the, the chicken chick? <clears throat> no, I think I might have seen her videos. Yeah, I've seen Sounds a lot of familiar. Her. Have Sounds you guys familiar. been the chicken salad chick? The chicken salad chick? I haven't heard of her. It's actually a chain of restaurants that are kind of new, but they serve all these varieties of chicken salad. I've never been to one, but it sounds freaking good. Like huh. all these different types of, that's all they do is just different types of chicken salad. <laughs> huh. Yep, chicken salad chick. Fun. Coming to your town soon. Unless they pull a Morgan Spurgeon. Yeah. Or not. We'll get or back not. to that. Right. I guess I, this little guy, I could say he's not really tall. Because I'm never really done tall painting. But it's just going to have a lot of really funky, like, abstract looking designs on it. Danita says she'd love to, and she wanted to paint this today, but says, I'm in the car riding to Hot Springs, Arizona. Hot Springs, baby. Yeah. Woohoo! I have to go on with y'all. Well, check you out, <laughs> Miss Vacation Every Three Months. <laughs> Must be nice. Somebody's yeah, our hubby gets vacations every three months because he works his tail off. 
So every three months, they allow them to take a vacation, and they're nice. always going to these really cool places. So that's a great thing. Well, have fun in Hot Springs. I've been there. Oh, you well? Have you ever been there, um, Terry? No, I've never been to Arizona. Why do I keep thinking you live in Arizona? It's Nevada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done that more than once. You know, because I've lived in both those states, and I, I don't know, I just, goodness, you're in Nevada. I'm from California originally, lived in Big Island, Hawaii for 15 years, and then moved to Nevada. I see. Hawaii? Ooh. Yeah, my husband, well, then boyfriend, um, has family out there. His mom was part Hawaiian. I see. Eagle Hana out there. Cool, man. My, uh, I have a friend that's there. He's one of the islands. I don't, I don't know. Where, I never can figure out which one he's on. He's on the one that's got the black volcano ash stuff on it where the volcano hit. And it's still got like black uh, volcano everywhere and uh, black beach sand and all that. Uh, wherever that is. Big Island. Yeah, I think it is actually. That's uh, one the one that has the active volcano on it. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. It's Arkansas. They're not going to Hot Springs. Oh, it said Hot Springs. Oh, it's Arkansas. It I'm sorry, Danita. Okay. I, I'm there, looking on my tablet. Hot Springs, here. Arizona, though. There is. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I just I'm thought pretty sure there is. And, and for some reason, thought that wasn't <laughs> Arkansas. Sorry. Arkansas. All right. All right. Well, still, it's Arkansas. still hot springs, and they'll still have a good time. So that's awesome. <laughs> I have a step grandma in Arkansas. So, all right, where am I at with my little chicken? <clears throat> a mother hen turns her eggs about fifty times per day and can lay more than three hundred eggs per year. I didn't realize they turned them that many times. <laughs> wow. And how they just do that with their feet, just flip them over? Yeah, with their beak in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. their beak okay. right there. I've watched them do it before. Okay. That's kind of cool. Ooh, get some Body. Where's my, my design? Let's see what I need to do here. I need to put some glue on here. So on mine, I just, I chalked in my design. I'm going to make a, a tracer with the design on there as well for my members. But um, I just I just did a base coat of a mix of white and orange. And then now I'm going in and laying in the, the actual colors. Yeah, that color combination is really great. Thanks. Hey. What you got, Robert? Mm -hmm. Got a Mexican in the house. <laughs> you. Hmm, okay. Now, um, they can hear you, but you can't hear them because they got my earbud in. But I'll <laughs> relate whatever you want to say or not say or whatever. What did I say? Just keep it clean. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Pull that chair over there. Right there. Oh, the stool? Okay. So we're talking about chick. Actually, you know what? I guess I need chicken to take my ear about it. We're talking about chicken and chicken facts. And like, do you know, do you have any chicken stories? Oh, yeah. Mexican chicken stories? Oh, yeah. Mm. You guys can hear them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they can, they can hear you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's, I'm sorry. It's, yeah, you can't hear them. If I, I think if I take my earbud out, I'm going to mess everything up. So I'm just gonna... Chicken stories. Chicken stories. <clears throat> what you gonna draw, bud? Nothing. I'll write a letter. Write a letter. Hey, John. It's your John letter. Who are you writing <clears throat> to? <Hmm? laughs> Let's see. Uh, I guess that's looking okay. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff here. So we got four ladies. You can see on the screen here. Well, you, they're all looking down at their paintings now, but see, there's um, there's me, there's Terry, there's hey. Lana over there, Lana, Hi. Lana, and then <laughs> Stacy down there below working on hers. 
They all said hi. Lena. Uh, Lena. It's Lena, not Lana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna get rid of this. What is it called? Dork. Uh, I don't know about this. I always have to take me a while to go and figure this out. I've got to put a lot more stuff on this thing. Do you know what? I need to fill this in with another color that I like. Is that what flower? I'm gonna mute you again and blow dry. Yeah, like I said, it's not necessary, but go for it. Whatever. Yeah, you want. Oh, um, Stacy said she had to mute herself to do the blow drying because she think people think it's too loud, but it really isn't that loud in the camera. You know, when you do it, it's just kind of a whoosh sort of sound. It's not loud. So I was talking to the other girls, trying to get them to maybe do like a spouse night where we can get get our mates in here and um. That'd be, that'd be something more. But on the screen, you know, like they could all come in and sit and then do something or just hang out like you're doing right now. We get the guys in the house. And then um, we can just kind of hang out and have a good time. We can paint. They don't want to paint. You don't want to create. But put a little manpower in here. What do you think? Uh, my chicken. My chicken. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was a weird noise. Was that paint? Or did somebody actually do something? <laughs> it wasn't me. I thought you were doing it. You did it too, Kim. It wasn't me. All I did was chick, 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 chicken. <laughs> That's the only noise I made. That's funny. <laughs> and it wasn't Robert because I'm right here. <laughs> oh my god. You sound like what Do what? I don't know. I was kinda of going by that the thing, the pictures above, you know, to kind of do something, but it need, I don't know. I might end up just painting it all one solid color or something. It'll come out okay in the beginning. I just got to play with it a lot. You know, do this little sort of funky abstract thing. On it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and paint this part green, I think. I want to paint it green. I need bigger brushes. AC is good. Yeah. Uh, Still too hot in here for you? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, popsicle. You didn't bring me no popsicle? Yeah. Yeah, you brought me one? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to have to feed it to me because I can't paint and eat it at the same time. <laughs> oh, that looks a little obscene. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the popsicle hanging. Never mind, I won't go there. <laughs> yeah, no. He laid it down yeah, like right in front there. of me. Okay, see so here my popsicle. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> it was like laying like this. All right, we won't go there. Anyway. Under my girl power sign. I'm not talking my girl power sign. Well, anywho. So, um, come on, some more chicken stories. Robert, you got a chicken story? <coughs> <laughs> my chicken stories are hideous. Oh, uh, we don't want to hear anything gross. Well, it doesn't matter. These girls are talking about, like, some, two of them actually own chickens. Stacy's got quite a few, and Terry's got chickens too. And they were actually talking about some things that the chickens do. Can they hear me? They can yep. hear you, but you can't hear them. They can all hear you. <laughs> so, like I said, keep it, keep it clean. It's gonna be so weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just that. <laughs> Chicken stories. What about like something with your mom or your, you know, hmm. your grandma? Well, my mom had a chicken. Your mom had. Oh, his it's family chicken. raises birds, by the way. They have a lot of birds. Parrots. Bird, parrots or what do you have? See, my mom, my mom had this big chicken. That, that chicken attacked everybody. <laughs> you never grown up. You stay in the bushes. When you ring the doorbell, he would attack. <laughs> was it a rooster? So, was it a rooster? They're asking, was it a rooster? It a rooster. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. So day, he got away. And the neighbors, like across the street, found him. The rooster, they brought it back to the house, and the lady 
asked my mom if she could have the rooster to keep it for a pet. And <laughs> she says, no, because that's my rooster. <laughs> well, my mom ended up giving it away to some Hispanic people. And they ate the rooster. Oh, no. <laughs> they ate that's crazy, the yeah. They, I they said, probably mom. attacked one too many persons. They good. said, that's it. They ate the rooster. They ate the rooster. I said, Mexicans. <laughs> oh. Well, now they've got, now she's got an attacking, look, is that a big parrot? Yes. A Missimo? She's got, yeah, he's exactly. beautiful, he's a macaw. Is he a macaw? Something like that. He's huge, he's beautiful, green, very colorful, but he's a mean little booger, man. You can't get next to him. He's big. He, he, he will bite you. Did he bite you? I don't get close enough to let him bite me. Did he bite you a couple of times? Not me. I won't get close to him. I'm scared of him. No. <laughs> Asper. Asper's another thing. Asper? Yeah. But in this uh, parrot. Oh, Casper, that's a crazy bird. <laughs> that's one of those white Beretta birds. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, uh, gosh. You know, you guys remember Beretta? I do. Okay, yeah, the old people remember Beretta. Yeah. Uh, the old people. That is a, I know what that is, too. I can't think of the name of that bird. Anyway, it's a white one. It's beautiful, big old white plumes on it. But that bird is plum crazy. If you come in the house, it'll start squawking really crazy. If you go in the bathroom, it'll actually get out of its cage, and it'll come there, and it'll try to, like, bang on the door when you're in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, ah, leave it alone. And it will, it will attack you. If he doesn't know you, want to sit in the living room. Yeah, if he doesn't like you, it'll squawk and scream and holler and, and like, oh run God. you out of the house. It's a crazy <laughs> it's like a bird. Fireball. And it does flips and all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, it's a nutty, nutty bird. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, and then her, his one sister, well, actually, both of them now, Lisa, they must have about eight birds apiece in their house. Flying around, making noise. I'd be like going out of my mind with all them crazy birds in my house. Yeah. No. They love them. <laughs> and it's kind of like become contagious. They One got one and the others got them. And next thing you know, they all got these birds. I said, you guys need to open up a darn uh, uh, <clears throat> in a sanctuary or whatever for the birds. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay on there? I gotta look up and see. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Look, look, she's doing. Okay, they're all really nice. See, we got Tracy's here. No, Tracy. I can Terry. Terry. Got Lana. Lana. And see the Lana. <laughs> Lana. Lana's down the bottom here. Okay, with the black. She's doing fun hers in. And then we got Stacy over here with the blue, and she's kind of doing like a little thing. Okay. Oh, I see. That's cool. I can see it now from sideways. Yeah, it looks beautiful. awesome. Beautiful. It looks awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Rob was actually very good with drawing. He surprised me. I mean, I knew he had talent, but he did a, uh, he just likes to sketch. Mm -hmm. And he sketched this old man not too long ago. And I was like, what the heck, man? You need to be doing this because you're really good. He's like, I am. I'm like, no, I'm serious. So, Some people don't realize. How talented they are. I know. That's what I said. She just said you don't realize how talented you are. Some people don't realize how talented you are. And you need to be doing more. I got him some carving tools, too, because he said he wanted to carve, but he hasn't used those yet. Mm -hmm. The color of the egg depends on the chicken's earlobes. Red yeah, earlobe chickens what? lay brown eggs, Red while white earlobe chickens lay white eggs. I didn't even know chickens had earlobes. I didn't either. The color of the egg depends on the chicken's earlobes. I didn't even know chickens had earlobes. <laughs> yeah. I was just telling Robert. It's almost like an extension to their, of uh, their, um, their, their waddle thing or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like all yeah. one piece on yeah. <laughs> Sort of. No, that is really pretty interesting too. I didn't know that. Chicken artifacts. <clears throat> Who else we got on here? So we got Danita. I guess she's just the only one now. There was. 
I feel like I want to paint it black now for some reason. I <laughs> just want to paint it black. No, black with white polka dots. <laughs> I'm gonna do, yeah. I thought for some of that, I just gotta think of what. Like, Remember that black over there? Oh, I'm gonna leave it right now. I wish you got me a servant. Servant? Unless it may. Well, wait, you know that when the, just the black right there, the big guy. That baby, no, that look, the color. Color black. There you go, darling. Thank you. Color black. You're not color black. I don't know. I just want to feel like I want to paint a good portion of black for some reason. I'm just, all of a sudden, just trying to be black. I'm going to submit it right now. I mean, no. Color. I'm not feeling this jive on what I thought I wanted to do. I start black and then I can do whatever I want to from there. If anybody's new watching, let us know where you're watching from. Unfortunately, nobody else is on here. <laughs> I see somebody. Replays. <laughs> replays now. We get replays. Even on your replays. Give us some yeah. love. Share it out. Let everybody know what we're doing. We are having fun. Hashtag replay. Hashtag replay. It doesn't matter what you say. Do you have to use the hashtag? No. I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what's the the purpose of doing the hashtag anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever clicked on a hashtag? I do, every once in a while. Yeah. It's just a bunch of googly got from everybody else putting stuff on right. there. So I'm okay. thinking like, what's the point? It's right. not really going directly to what you're talking about. So why even do it? I think right. you can set up your group to be able to um, see the hash certain hashtags that you would put when you would you can put in hashtags, and I think in topics, I think, or something like that. I'm not sure. Mm, okay. <clears throat> well, maybe it'll, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm just gonna. I totally changed my whole process here. Yeah. And I saw your black, and I'm like, the black over? looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you starting over? Kind of. <laughs> I, painted it, I painted it halfway, and then I decided I didn't like it. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start with a black background <clears> and <throat> then go from there. And I probably just like sort of take Terry's suggestions, throw some flowers and some little stuff. I was trying to get too intricate with it and it was taking too long. I was getting annoyed. Because like I said, I've never painted small. I'm used to right. painting larger. And the, the small thing is like forever. Especially when you're trying to make it look really precise and good, you know. Right. Or, or clean, whatever. Good. Trying to have it come out like the vision in your head and it's not. Correct. So I'm like, yeah, we'll gotcha. just do something else. We'll just up. Uh, no pun intended. We'll wing it. <laughs> yeah. We could have done a whole thing on chicken puns if we planned that out. We need out. to do the chicken pun. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We still can. No clucking way. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's late. I get punchy. Sorry, guys. I think we did that when we did the funky chicken. We really were getting in some really good oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. That was yeah, that good. Funny. That, we had a fun time with that one. Chickens are fun to paint, though. They really are. Because they're just interesting characters on their own. You're hot. Mm -hmm. Well, you keep the house at like 65 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. Freeze. Sorry about it. Some close we got. Oak tree. Actually, he does write poetry sometimes. Nice. Your art is beautiful. Oh, hey, I'm thank you. Glad thank you. Glad I They're saying thank you. He's going Much inside. Love, respect. Blessings. Uh, <laughs> he's going inside. He said it's too hot out here for him. Uh -oh. It's perfect for me. Aw, thank you. Give me some kisses. That's not possible. 
It's going to cost me. Mm -hmm. It always does. But, so. <laughs> Mommy, I left the keys in here. Okay. All right. I'll be in there in, you know, 45 minutes. So. All right, babe. He's being really sweet tonight. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. He must well, want some. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Not because he's finally feeling better. That cool yeah, little that's silver that's is making a big difference. Good. Yeah, that stuff's awesome. Yeah. Always try to keep some on hand. I use it for all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when my daughter would have an ear in, or feel like she's getting an ear infection, I would put it in her ear okay. and let it sit in there and then let it drain out after a minute or so. <clears throat> and she never got an ear infection after that. I awesome. That. I mean, I don't know if she maybe just wouldn't have gotten one anyways, but uh, just to be safe. And, 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 and it's pretty safe stuff. Oh, it is. It. Yeah, it's very safe. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, like I said, another thing I've been doing too that I can't believe he's actually doing is um. Uh, oh, dang, baby, that's a lot of noise. Right? Oh, oh, that makes a lot of noise in here, Boba, in the microphone. Um, it's uh, we have a roll top on the on the shop, you know, oh, like the roll thing. Right. He forgot he locked the door, the other door, and oh. so he was just getting in with that. Hi, Gloria. Gloria is on here. Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Gloria. Hey, we got somebody new. Hi, Gloria. Come on, girlfriend. Say hello. He does the, the clown. He dresses up as a clown. That's the business. Do do what now? Party. Oh, okay, cool. She does. She has these awesome clown outfits that she wears and does parties with them. With hmm. being as a, She's a professional clown. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm say. Professional clown. She's a PPHQ member, too. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Really cute. Gloria, is this your first time joining us on the lives? On the live group? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I missed some of them, you know, because I was out for a bit with COVID, but I've never actually seen you on here, which is awesome. It's nice to have somebody new. Yeah. She says, yes, we're just hanging out. We're having fun. We're all painting different things. I'm actually got this little guy down below. I'm doing clay, ceramic stuff. Well, my, I'm making like hand belt clay. The mine's clay, and I'll show it in a minute. I'm just finishing my popsicle. <laughs> but you can see we just have a good time. <laughs> We're just uh, painting and creating and talking and sharing chicken stories and jokes and all kinds of stuff. So it's really a lot of fun. You need to get on here with us. Yeah, we do this every Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Every oh, Wednesday yeah. night, with 7 o'clock. Yeah. You just set to 7. Yeah, Gloria, if you want to ever join us, we all, you know, we pick a theme and then we all, you know, do our own thing with it. Put our own spin on it. Where are you from, honey? What time zone are you in? All right, I'm going to go back down below. I got popsicle in my mouth. <laughs> I'm out for them. So if I was just fun. Yeah, it's really a lot of fun. We have a good plus. I was playing with neons today. Yeah. Um, the neons. I've got some neon black lights I've done before. I was doing that earlier this summer. And um I don't know if you're part of the uh, uh painted soul creative journey. Are you part of Tammy's group, Lori? I think you might be. Anyway, um, you know, she's got the neons on there, and I was like, yep. It's, they're fun to play with. I had to learn the technique of them. But uh, I did a couple little black light paintings. I've got my black lights, too. So when we do that, I'm, I think I'm just, oh, you're East Stad. Okay, good. I'm in Florida. So you're you're on the same time zone as um, Lena and I. Lana. Lena. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Lena. <laughs> Lena. I actually potato, said it right. Lana, potato, Lena, potato. Lana. Tomato, tomato. Yep. He will graciously so, correct you every time. <laughs> like, okay, graciously, thank you. Just because I, I can't get it in my brain for some reason. I don't know why. I was going to say Lena. It's fixed now. It's never coming it out. Lena, 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 Lena. Lena, Lena. Lena. <laughs> Sometimes I did say Lena. No, but I know Tammy. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, she's she posted something for this month of October. Maybe it's because of the whole Halloween thing or whatever, but... Um, 
of doing the black lights. And I thought, yeah, I've got a cute little cat for kids and one that I came up with and a turtle and some other things I've played around with. So an alien and different things like that. So the black lights are fun. So I think when we do the black, uh, you know what? Well, I don't know. All you ladies probably don't have black lights. So I was going to say we could do like a live black light painting party. That would be kind of fun. I think like I have a, a bulb somewhere. <laughs> yeah. They're not expensive really, but we could all get black lights and paint in black light and do like a live with everybody's painting. <laughs> painting in black cool. light. I wonder how that would be fun. Work, it would be fun. Yeah, they're fun to paint with. The only thing you got to do, like I said, is a very translucent. So at first when I did it, because usually you have a, oh, you're from Ohio. Okay, cool. Steph, <laughs> Steffi's in the house. Yoo-hoo, she's in, she's in. All right. Cool, girl. We're in here painting our chickens. We're doing our chickens, our free-range chickens tonight. And I don't like that either. I'm going to paint. What I'll do maybe is do. But. <laughs> oh. Welcome, Steph. Glad you could join us, darling. I'm painting my chicken over. So everybody's doing, you know, they've got their own chickens going on. Gloria says, no, sorry, I'm about three hours from Ohio. I'm in Indiana. Oh, three hours. That's right. I'm sorry. Black light painting party. Yeah, absolutely. I'm all about that. If everybody wants to do a live and can come on and do a black light party, that'd be cool. If you got black lights, let's do it. And then you just need... um. I mean, do you need special paint, or can you just, as long as the paint's well, more like on the fluorescent side, will that you, work? you do need to have, I mean, there's neon, and then there's black light, I've, no, I've noticed, like, or like, no, excuse me, there's glow in the dark, the neon is basically, okay, I'm here, the neon is actually um, called, is the what you would consider black light paint, um, let me look in the camera, Kim, and then um, there is glow in the dark paint, which is kind of like just a yeah. one color and you just paint that on and it turns green when you turn it off. So mm -hmm. the, but the neons have different colors. Some of them actually are more, uh, they show up more than other colors. And, you know, the, the greens and the, and the like orange is real, real strong or fluorescence. They call them fluorescence too. But uh, yeah, you just have to kind of, I got two different brands and I played around, did like little samples and played around with them <laughs> to see what was going to be the strongest, you know, and they, some of them look really good actually without the black light. And then you turn the light off and you got boom, it gets that really cool black light thing going on. And both are fun. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get back to my chicken here. Figure out what I'm going to do with this guy. At least I know I'm going to do red on these. I love that, Stacy. That looks good. Stacy, that is that is cool, man. Yeah, that's a, yeah I love that. <laughs> All right, so... For those that are just joining, you can see everybody's doing something different. Of <laughs> course, I decided to make mine out of clay. I did a little clay guy, and I started painting it, and I didn't like it, so I totally repainted it over. So I'm working on, you know, I'm just winging it right now, and I'll probably end up having to finish it later and posting it because I know I ain't going to be done. But it was a challenge for me not to do, not to build them, but to paint the darn thing because it's not, I've never painted small like this. And it's like, hey, it's kind of a bit of a pill. <laughs> All right. There's my finished chicken, you guys. What I'm you gonna, got? I'm going to call right. it a night. Nice. Cool so means you're going to call it a night. Well, make sure you post it, okay? Yes, I will take a picture of it and post it. Thank you so much yes. for letting me paint. Guys, oh, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, yeah, darling. We'll see you later. later. All your finished chickens. Thank you. <laughs> see you later. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And Steffi says, so Gloria, I love your chicken. It's awesome. Say, Kim, did you know they make a black light and glow in the dark clay? I have seen that, darling. Oh, I have not clay. tried it, but I have seen it. Yes. Oh, that and was Cool. Yeah. I want, there's so many new clays and stuff out on the way. There's foam clay, different types of clay that I honestly haven't played with. And I definitely want to try them all. I want to see all the really fun stuff you can do. But yeah, glow in the dark clay. Ooh, I'll think about cool. that. That would be really cool for kids. They would yeah, really absolutely. love that. Well, anything glow in the dark for kids is yeah. great. They can make yeah. a little bedtime buddy that sits uh -huh. on their, next to their bed and 
Well, there you go. That's a cute little idea in itself. Yeah. Have right right next to them when they sleep. Yeah. You can actually tell. have you can, like have them like think that you're that they're adding a certain ingredient or something that would make them think it's like magical and it will protect. Yeah, them. there you go. I'm not sure how, but <laughs> You know what? Um, I'm gonna do something with my kids that I my little after school class, and uh, I was just gonna black light paint with them. But you know what? I might try to get some of that clay and do that with them. That would be great. That's a great yeah. idea. I just stole that from you. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't steal it. Well, I'm borrowing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that Leah's chicken? Uh, Gloria's asking if that's Leah's chicken. It was inspired by her. Inspired by her, I guess. But that's yeah. not the same. I, uh, the, the actual tracer of the chicken, I did that. Yeah. I mean, I, I used help with some other commercial use um, chickens out there, but I. So Terry <laughs> basically created her own version of that. Right. In a tracer. And that's <laughs> what we're going by is her version. <clears throat> and I think hers is a more of a rooster, I think, isn't it? Or is it a chicken? I can't remember. Well, mine's definitely different. <laughs> um, Kim, yours kind of reminds me of a folk art. That's uh, what I was thinking when I started painting it. Yeah, folk yeah, art that's style. That's why I was thinking of polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, I thought about that, but I don't even know. I think that on the back, I'm going to make that all black, too, and just keep the tail and just start going from there. Because, I, like I said, it's just one of those things that I haven't really figured out how I want to paint it yet. I didn't spend enough time on that part. I just spent long enough time making it, getting it baked, built and baked. So, oh, there's some, oh, they look good, guys. They look good. And almost like the idea of just throwing some flowers on it, make it simple like you guys did, but just do yeah. it in this version, you know. All right, here goes. I'm just going to color up this black, this on like that. Decided I don't like that on the back. Looks like a target, a bullseye. <laughs> Shoot me. Cool. Looks so much better black already. Black just makes everything look better. It makes you look so slim, doesn't it? Yeah. Now she looks like a nice slim chicken. Nice little chick, <laughs> slim rooster. Sometimes simple is better. <clears throat> you know, there are times when I try to complicate things. Oh, that's right. kind of a profound statement of my life. <laughs> Robert would attest to that. <laughs> there, it looks better already, don't it? Yeah, it does. Whoops. Move it out. There we go. Cute. Cute. All right. I'm going to put the beak on. I'm going to do something on the back end of the tail, though. Okay, a little decoration on it of some sort. Gloria said, so she belongs to Leah's group. That's why oh, she recognized okay. it. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I just love the fact that all of us ladies are involved in so many different groups and things. And, you know, we're sharing and getting out there. And by the way, I'm just going to give myself another little plug. Uh, Lori, I know you really probably have never met me or anything. But um, I... I'm Kim Hostetter and Crafting with Kim, but I'm starting a, a, a mud clay membership, an online membership, and um, I just love playing with clay. I do all kinds of different things, but for me, the clay is cool because a lot of people don't work with clay, and I'm teaching them how to use polymers and, and air dries and different things like that to be able to integrate it into their art to do like more multimedia or just to do some really functional fun things like you know especially during the holidays when i do my lives on the painted soul group i'm going to do more things that are like gift oriented or maybe things that you can actually use around your home i do some decorative things but um yeah so anyway i'm starting that group and it's i'm going to be launching it well i kind of soft launch it but i'll be really getting heavy into it in the next couple of weeks so if you know anybody who's interested in learning to play with clay it's more like a beginner style um and it's all hand built and oven baked there's no pottery or anything like that going on um it's a lot of fun and i uh, would love to have you or anybody other ladies that you could spread the word 
and um, get them involved in what I'm doing, making clay and doing some really fun things with clay. All right, my pleasure. <laughs> Back to my chicken. Where'd it go? There she is. Um, or my hen. I guess it's a hen, chicken hen. Chicken hen. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say. <laughs> That's a rooster. Well, that, well, that, you know, oh, that was a rooster. <laughs> you need to get you a lady head. What you need? Who was the little guy he was always talking to? That was some sort of a chicken hawk. Chicken hawk. Oh yeah. A chicken hawk. Yeah, he's always trying to get him to go for the dog instead of the yeah. chicken. <laughs> um, and then the old lady. What was her name? I don't remember. Henrietta. Henrietta. Was that, that her name? Probably, yeah. Probably Henry. Uh oh. Boom, boom, boom. Got an incoming call. Mute my Oh, we want to hear your phone call. We don't know, <laughs> see. We want to hear everything you're saying. That's right. <laughs> oh, it's looking so much better already. So glad I painted it black. Crappy brush here, though. I had to throw a couple of brushes away. Yeah. Who was it? Was it you? Somebody was talking about that the other day. Saying they were keeping. Oh, it was Mary, uh, Tammy on the other group. She's saying how she keeps all of her brushes. And, you know, she'll just stick them back. Like, it's a bad pen. She'll throw it in. If the brush, she just sticks it back in her thing. And then she pulls it out to use it again. I'm like, I do the same thing. I have done that. And it, they were just so bad that I just couldn't do that anymore. Yeah. She said she wanted to kind of keep hers and do some sort of, like, brush chandelier thing or something. I'm like, oh, oh that's cool. cool. That's a neat idea. Let's see. I was getting bigger and bigger by the moment. Okay, those look pretty close. <laughs> so, thank you. Oh, and Tammy's here too. Hey, Tammy. Hey, y'all. Bad storms here are popping in and out. Cool. Thanks for joining in. Appreciate it. We're having fun doing our free range chickens. Gloria says, thank you, ladies, but I must go. Have worn myself out today. As I think just about overdone. I found out today that I am in third. Oh, good Lord, girlfriend. Renal failure was not bad. I guess it's five stages, so I'll just have to watch my diet. Talk to you ladies later. Thank you for letting me watch it. Oh, Lordy, darling girl. Well, you get some rest then. You take right. care of yourself, Gloria. Thank you for popping in and, um, you know, blessings, and we'll say some prayers for you. All right, darling. Yeah. Hope to see you soon. All right, Tammy, so how's your day been? What's up, Miss Tammy? You still there? She's just popping in and out. Okay. Popping in and out, popping in and out. All right, and then this is going to have to go, too. This is going to turn that into red. Put that back in there. What's my chicken meat? What does your chicken need? Yeah. He needs a rooster. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> hey, yes, she does. She needs a rooster. She needs a man, maybe. <laughs> Her fertilizer eggs. And I, I kind of like it the way it is. For some reason, I see an eyeball on it, but, you know, that's optional, I guess. Yeah. Is that gold? Oh, I like the gold. Oh, shoot. I just put black. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you ever done that? Put the wrong color on your brush and then paint. Yeah. I got to let that dry now. I got black all over my, my tail. Steffi says, Kim, what's the best way to seal polymer clay? Interesting you should ask because um, there are some sealers that work with it and some sealers that don't. Um, you want to look for like a varnish based one. I'll tell you that I've, because uh, some of them will make it sticky. They'll, your polymer clays will get very sticky. 
Um, your varnish, urethanes, uh, water base actually work pretty good. You can get some spray versions. Um, I use this once. Hold on. This I actually put the semi gloss. I sprayed this on a piece that I did, and it didn't. It reacted really funky, so I wouldn't get anything like that. But usually, it's a if it's a varnish based one, they work pretty good, and you can get those in a spray version. And um, they don't really yellow too bad, so you should be good with those the polymer clay. And they actually make ones you can get spray that does say for polymer clay if you want to do that. Hopefully that answers your question, Barbie. Okay, so that's looking better. Except now I'm going to do that white. I think I think I want to bring it. Yeah, the green's kind of cool. So my chickens look a lot better now, ain't it? That's it. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna put that kind of here. I'm gonna do it teal. Because I love teal. Everybody's so quiet. Mary says, I was a chicken farmer commercial. Oh my goodness. So girlfriend, she's got you beat, Terry. Carrie, are you still muted? I think she is. I think she's she talking. Is. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Mary says that she was actually Mary Tammy. I'm sorry. I did the same thing. Lana, Lana. Um, Lena, Lena, Lena. <laughs> yeah. Lena, Lana, Lena, tomato. I'm just going to start. How about I just call you tomato? Okay. Can I just say tomato? Because I, I know I can get that right. All right. So this is, this is my friend tomato. Anyway. So um, Tammy says that she was a commercial farm, a former commercial farm, chicken farmer, then went free range farming. I love chickens. They have many personalities. Cool, man. Did you like what I called my chickens tonight? This, I thought it, free range was good since we were all painting them different. <laughs> They're all free range. <laughs> That's wild. So how many chickens did you raise, Tammy? These look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they are really pretty, aren't they? I'm still working on my Mine's a work in progress. Hey, man, I love the little guy that I hand built. I hand built the chicken. Okay. But I started painting it really funky and I didn't care for it. So I'm doing it over. I'm repainting it over. Oh, that looks like a, a Indian. What do you call it? Little Indian headdress. <laughs> and I'll fix it up cute somehow. Ooh, I got a little touch on the top now. But yeah, they do look really cool. So you're done. Are you done with yours? I think so. Tomato, are you done? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going to call you tomato. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done. You're done. Yes, I think I Terry's think I done. Like I think you like it. I think it looks cute. It's very cute. So we gotta wait for Terry to unmute herself. That's so we can Oh good night, Kim. So I get for not cleaning my brush well enough. Especially between the blacks. You know how that goes. Black all over everything. Yeah, it does look kind of folk -arty. I guess I should just go with it. Yeah. Just go with that style. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still trying to to right. break the mold, which I'm always trying to do. I'm always trying yeah. to do something different. And, Make it my own thing. And sometimes it's just like, you know what? Just <clears throat> keep it simple. Simple and cute. Yeah. I'll probably just do some flowers exactly what you guys did. But I want to do something on the butt. Yeah. I want to put something <laughs> on the butt. Oh, my goodness. Tammy said... 13,000 hens, 5,000 roosters, kept them producing 98. Good night, girl. Oh, how many um, how many chicken houses did you have to have for that many? 
chickens. And you raised them commercially. Who did you sell to? The big, mean Tyson people? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I just, I'm not saying I don't eat the chicken, but it bugs me because they're, they're so controlling. You know, the big industry people are always like that. He said that was one. Tammy did. Oh, that was, oh, that was one. 13, that was in one house? Good night. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. wow. One house. Okay. What do you guys vote for? Flowers? Or, I don't really want to do polka dots. Polka dots are too easy. Maybe I'll do flowers like white and, of course, we always go for the standard colors, white and yellow. Maybe I'll do a couple colors here. This was my layer house. Oh, where they laid them. I got you. Yeah, so you had, wow, goodness. Mm -hmm. Did you ever sleep? Stephanie's saying, did you ever sleep? Uh. <laughs> Obviously, I would think, Tammy, that you had to have some helpers. I mean, you, uh, I can't imagine really. trying to do all that by yourself. There's no way. It was, was it a family business or what was the deal on that one? All eggs, she said. Oh, oh, eggs for eggs. I got you. Okay. Egg production. So you kept them around. You didn't kill them. That's cool. I like that. So I was telling the ladies that I learned about the free range thing, you know, as far as the industry. And they were saying that it only takes like this one little square spot that you can make them go in and out or, you know, have it open there for them all day long. And they consider that free range. Is that still the case or? Have they changed any at all on that, Tammy? Oh, she had four kids that were helping. Okay. Okay. Either you had four kids that were helping or you're raising four kids while you're raising all your chickens. <laughs> you a little boat. Four kids. Okay. I like my background. It turned out really cool. Kids helping. What's that? Your background? Yeah, it did. I'm that crackle really thing cool. is. Yeah. The crackle is actually really cool. You know what? Let's pull you up. If I can pull you. Can I do? Oh, you know what? I do it this way. I think I slide you over. And then I can pull you up individually. Oh, yeah. Isn't that, Isn't that cool? cool? It is neat. It turned out really cool. She did a crackle. Husband had electrical business he ran. Okay. She did a crackle finish with the um, Elmer's glue. You want to explain to them yeah. how you did that? So what I did first was uh, paint a base coat of blue. Let it dry completely. Then I just took your everyday Elmer's school glue and painted a thick coat of that on it and then i took what color was this uh deco art oyster beige and painted a thick coat over top of the wet glue then i took a blow dryer and dried it and it turned it to this crackle this is so cool it is very I, very I cool lines in it, it i could make it look like wood yeah if you yeah. did the browns and stuff they'd mm -hmm. be really cool yep. it is yep. neat yeah i have to try that next like I said, I've cried to crackle medium, and I think you probably have too, but to do it with the Elmer's glue, I've never done that. Yeah, yeah. it's so easy. But I used to do the crackle on the furniture and everything. And I know, Tammy, I heard you talk once before that you said you used to have a decorative art business. So did I years ago. I used to do all that faux painting on the walls, and I used to do concrete all over pool decks and all kinds of crazy stuff. But I remember you saying that. I heard you say that one time in one year. used to years. do upholstery a long time ago. You used to do upholstery? Yes. Okay. I did, the, I did a lot more sewing back in the day when my kids were little. God, sewing is something I just can't get next to. Kind of thing. I always have issues with the machine. I get frustrated with it. Oh, there's, don't, a lot of, there's a lot of bad words in that. 
Yeah, I mean, if things don't flow right with me when I'm doing something, yeah. I'll be like, screw it. <laughs> you know, just like the chicken. I said, I don't like what it looks. It's like, yeah. just start painting it over. Exactly. You know, it's got to work. And like I said, I've got a, um, my my best friend, God bless her, earlier this year, my birthday's in April, she bought me a, um, a cricket, you know, like oh, everybody's got. So nice. Yeah. It's still in the box. I have it. It's still in the box. It's still in the box. <laughs> Because I can't bring myself to learn how to, and I'm sure it's not it's difficult. So easy, yeah. And I'm really not that challenged with things. Mm -hmm. I just, for some reason, in my mind, can't put myself to want to learn something different. And I know once I once I use it, I'll love it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Are you I'm back? back. Are I'm you back, back yet? Yeah. You just back. abandoned us. I'm sorry. I had a phone call. I had to take it. Was a really good friend that I haven't talked to you in a while and, and yeah. she's going through some treatment. So gotcha. <laughs> I'm just giving you know me. I'm just teasing. <laughs> but I kept looking like, are they finishing up? Are they finishing up? <laughs> well, you know, tomato, tomato's pretty much finished. I decided I'm just going to start calling her tomato. <laughs> she's finished. Well, I'm going to her in the bunch. This is great. Oh, oh. I'm the lagger in the bunch. So, I mean, I, you know, because I'm just piddling around. So if you guys want to go ahead and sign off, we'll do a little screenshot, and then I'll post mine later if you want to do that. But, uh, yeah, we're just kind of having fun talking. Just took a quick picture real fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to do a screenshot of it now, or you want to wait? I just took a picture. If I get my phone ready, unless somebody else can volunteer. Oh, yeah, I can actually do... I can okay. do a screenshot on my laptop. It's just that I'm I trying to like really hold this and hold that. So give me one second. Let me put my brush down. Okay. I'm trying to get my, I'll at least take the good side where I started doing my flowers. Okay. Let's see if we hold it up. Do, 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 do. Get in the camera right. There you go. Mm -hmm. that look okay? Good night. Okay. Let's, see, let's, let's see more of the face. Too. Hold up. I don't know why I'm such a no. goof. Yeah. All right. Okay. Like that. Play that way. It's cute. Because ah! <laughs> it gets, you want to go the opposite direction. There we go. All right, let's see if this works. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. All right, we're going to take one. They're going to take one with our faces, too, okay? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got that one. Now I'm going to change it so that we can all see each other. Well, you still can't see me because I got mine down, but that's okay. You ladies can kind of look up. Or maybe I can change my thing. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got somebody else joining us. Allison Michelle Jinx. Good night. What a name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had this thing on uh, last names. I've been married three times. I always say I'm like Liz Taylor. I'm trying to beat her as many last names. <laughs> hey, Allison. She's saying take take the cricket out and watch YouTube. I know I've watched a couple videos already. I love mine. Mr. Crafty Pants has several and he walks you through everything. Jennifer Maker is also going to learn. Thank you, darling. I need the inspiration to do it because I actually need to use it for some stencils that I need to do for my daughter's um, porch cleaner soon. I need to get her stencils. And I do not want to have to hand drill them out. So I figured yeah. I need to break yeah. that out. I have a maker but, and I've only made reusable stencils on it. That's the only thing I've done. Pretty much. I mean, I think that is what I'd use it for the most, but um, I've seen a lot of people do some really fun things with it. Oh, yeah. So Mary says, let's get, all right, so we're taking some screenshots right now. We pretty much, well, mine's not quite finished, but as you can see, we got two painted versions up top, and then I did my little hand-built clay guy because I'm doing a clay thing got going on here. I'm into the clay. So uh, Allison, it's good to have you pop on. Let me get this picture real quick. Let me get the lean over and get this screenshot. It's going to look weird on me because I'm leaning over. I get my laptop closer to me, maybe a little bit, a little bit better. Hold on, girls. All right, we ready? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That looks good. Okay, get screenshot it? shape. <laughs> All, right. Like All right, so Allison, is this your first time joining us? What we do here, as you can see, we had one other lady on tonight. Um, her name was Stacy, and she's popped on a couple of times. We're just a group of girls getting together, doing lives, painting, having a good time. We have a blast painting, talking, sharing stories, jokes, whatever. Uh, usually we go Wednesday nights at 7. And uh, we are open to maybe trying some other nights. So you can get a group of your own if you want to join our group and um, do a live painting. It's a good way to just hang out and have fun. 
or if you're not used to doing lives and you can get on here and feel more comfortable or you can just get on and not even create just get on with us and say hey and hang out and talk yeah. so we love to have some more people come yeah. on with us and we have a blast yeah. so good seeing everybody again great job girls steffi says mary says look or tammy says look good anybody else got any last minute comments Austin says i've been trying to get here on time but i'm always late love y'all stuff well we have been going at eight o'clock um east, eight o'clock eastern standard time but we decided to bump it up a little earlier which is better for us uh, east coast people so and everybody else wanted to do a little earlier so it's going to be seven seven to eight nine you know whenever we finish somewhere running there so um you know hop on if you want or like i said if you got some other people want to do another time or maybe we could do another time during the day or another day all right and you know what the rain's coming my way it's going to start sound like popcorn so <laughs> just say goodbye yeah. all right. Love yeah. you guys. Yeah, guys. Oh, i'll see bye. you next week bye bye <laughs>